My name is Steve Buttleman, and I'm the official bugler at Churchill Downs and the Kentucky Derby. Uh, I've been blessed to do this for the last 24 years. I feel lucky to get to do what I do and to get to share the derby with people. I've had a lot of different opportunities because of uh, the job here. Uh, a lot of unique things I would have never thought I'd do playing the trumpet. I started in fifth grade on my uncle's uh, old cornet and I kept playing through middle school and high school and then decided that's what I wanted to do for a career. And uh, studying trumpet performance at the University of Louisville when the job opened up here and I almost didn't come to the audition. I was having my wife's car worked on and I thought, well, I'm gonna go. I warmed up on the curb and uh, came to the, uh, the tryout late. I show up, everyone's in a coat and tie and I'm in cutoffs, tennis shoes and a windbreaker. I was like, we all played our call to the post and they narrowed it down to two of us and we went back and forth and played the call to the post and uh, then they went in and deliberated and I was lucky enough to be the guy they picked. So this is the inside of the Pagoda, which is in the Kentucky Derby Winter Circle. Initially, it didn't have windows. It was just a one-story building, and then they added on to it. The building itself is between 80 and 90 years old. I practice every day um, at least an hour, um, if not more. But uh, it's just important to make sure all the muscles are working right. Sometimes if you don't practice for a day, it may take uh, a week or two weeks to actually get back to where you were. Sometimes I keep a lot of my stuff in here, then I can lock it up if I need to, or I'll take it with me if I have another gig that night. But I do have the cabinet here that I can lock stuff up in, and also uh, there's a closet back there that I have a refrigerator and a microwave in. The tradition of having a live bugler here for every race goes back to the mid-1980s when a uh, grad student had the idea that uh, he could be the bugler here at Churchill Downs and uh, David Scott pitched the idea to Churchill and uh, that's how we started having a live bugler here all the time. And then there is a bathroom upstairs, everyone wants to know that question. Um, and actually that bathroom was put in back in the 70s when Princess Grace came over. So I thought it was kind of funny that they put in a throne for Princess Grace. Now for the Derby in Oaks, we've had a live bugler for a, a long time. I really couldn't find any records showing when we started that, but I know it goes way back. And probably the best Derby experience as a trumpet player was to watch the Derby with Wynton Marcellus when he was in town. Uh, he was here doing a master class at the University of Louisville, and he came out to play with the band, and um, I went out and talked to him, and. Uh, asked him if he'd want to watch the derby up on top of the roof uh, with, with me and the CEO and all the uh, VIPs up there and uh, he accepted so uh, that was quite a derby. So I hang out in that building, and then about tw 10, uh, 10 minutes to post, I will come out and play the call to the post to announce that the horses are coming out onto the track. And then like a little cuckoo clock, I go back in, and about 25 minutes later, I come back out and back and forth. There's uh, a lot going on. Uh, there's about an hour in between the race before the derby and the derby itself. So that's when things really, um, start to expand, uh, the activity really grows. They bring the Garland of Roses over, the trophies, uh, the governor and all the VIPs will come over. Uh, so all of a sudden my little pagoda becomes quite full. Sometimes during the summer, during the off months, uh, we do have weddings in the winter circle. So sometimes it's used you know, to help people or as a place for people to get ready for uh, the wedding that's outside. We do have backup buglers in case we can't be here or 
have multiple events. Occasionally I get a chance to uh, play in the musical theater pit, um, which I love. Um, it's one of my favorite things to do. But a lot of what I do is uh, based on being the bugler, um, playing at weddings, uh, different sporting events. Uh, I also work with the Convention Bureau uh, to promote Louisville and to hopefully bring events here. I do get nervous uh, for the Derby especially. There's uh, a lot going on. There's about an hour in between the race before the Derby and the Derby itself. So what I do is I take a, a walk uh, down the grass turf track and when I get to the top of the stretch and I turn around I see the twin spires and the people having a great time and I just think man how did I get to be the guy that gets to do this. Ha 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 